I'm going to see if you going to tell him. Yeah, he coming in right I, now. I, I, I want to know what's going on. Because he ain't going nowhere. That's my what? son. That's my only son. At some point, he got to go. Never no time. I mean, at some point, he got to go. Never no time. Man. Never no time. The argument is, 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 well, you know, tell him, Christian. No, you tell him. Well, we talking about you grown and you got to go somewhere. I told him, you I understand. You ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel that some. You are not niggas. You are not coons. You may smoke reef and drink wine and do crazy, wicked things, but you are not a wicked person by nature. You have lent yourself to wickedness, but you are a divine creature that must now come into the knowledge and power of your own divinity. And no creature can resurrect you into your divinity. It takes God himself to bring you into your own divine nature. So we're not dealing with prophets. We have walked out of prophets teaching. This is the time and the presence of God. So I don't talk about God will come. God is already here. And he's working in me to resurrect you to your divine nature. What's up, what's up, class? Come on in, guys. We got an important one and a very good one. You know, this is Father's Day week. Father's Day is coming up this weekend, guys. So we're going to start our weekend off right, saluting to these fathers. But before we get to the real dads and the real fathers, I want to give a shout out to my stepdads. You stepfathers, you guys are, are, you guys are better than me. You know what I mean? You guys have the worst position in the family. You guys are in last place. And I mean, that's your doing. So um, without further ado, guys, y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all saw the title. I don't do much clickbaiting over here ever. So y'all know what it is. We got a modern woman that's spitting to show you all you stepdads, all you men that want to be stepdads, all you men that are di addicted to single mothers because of your hell of a mother and her programming to making you feel sorry for women and their position that they put themselves in by bad decisions. For all of you men that want to play this game because you know single mothers are low-hanging fruit. Once you unbreak that yoke and you have kids out of wedlock, you 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 get whatever you get whatever's moving whatever's coming your way that's what you that's what you get you all that picky stuff that these modern single mothers are doing these hell of a mothers are doing that they they they're playing themselves they already broke the chain they already broke the order they are not going to be able to submit to that kid's father which means that kid is not going to submit to them and they're not going to put that kid before then they're gonna put you before they put that kid, sir. Sir, that's how the order goes, sir. Those kids is not your legacy, but I ain't gonna, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna give y'all, after we watch this video, break it down, I'm gonna give y'all my five reasons why stepdads is the worst. You're a loser. It's nothing honorable about being a stepdad. Nothing honorable about being a stepdad. I mean, and I'm, I'm talking about those guys that don't have no kids. Now, if you have kids of your own, you have no business saying anything about a single mother, right? Because you're a single father and y'all belong together. But I'm talking to my young men and my guys, my free agent men with no babies. You deserve better and, and stand on that. Let's get into this. Nowhere. That's my son. That's my only son. At some point, he got to go. Never no time. I mean, at some point, he never got to no go. time. Man. Never no time. The argument is, is, 
Well, tell me, Chris. You no, know, you tell me. Well, we're talking about you grown and you got to go somewhere. I told him, you I understand you ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel at some point you need to um, make your own way. That's that's what I, you know, I, I be going to walk through the house naked sometime and there you go. You know, so uh, I mean, what? You know. No, if anything, you can go, not him. How about well, that? I don't want to pay all the fucking bills in here. I just, you don't tell me where I can go. The thing is, like, and he openly could admit that he paid all the bills in that house. And you see how openly, freely she could say, well, no, you go before he go. Knowing damn well, that's a lie in the crab leg. Because if that man takes his, his, takes his portion of what he do for that house, then guess who going to be? On that, on that hell of a mother's chopping block then, the same son she protecting, that's when you're going to hear her say, oh, because it's almost time. You got to start paying. You got to start paying some rent here. You, Yeah. You see, the fact that the stepdad is in there being foolish, not honorable, being foolish, paying all the rent, taking care of everything that he's playing, this let's pretend, this, this let's pretend game, he's in there doing that. It allows her to be able to take this stance. And that's crazy, guys. Why do I got this is my mama house? Like, why do I got to leave my mama house? Period. Man, you damn near forty years old. Damn near, it's time to go. I mean, at what I'm point? I'm twenty nine now. Yo, this twenty nine year old kid gonna look a grown man in the eye and say, "Why do I have to leave my mama house?" This is the son husband shit. Coach Greg Adams was talking about. You see, parents, they they single mothers after they get rid of the dad for their reasons for whatever reason that may be they love up on these kids and they de these become their husbands their sons becomes their husband until they find another foolish loser that'll sit there and play the role and even with that the average female not going to trust an outsider coming in around these cubs these women take a they take a stance like this around their the real dad so you being the stepdad is gonna do what? But donate to the cause. This kid is spoiled. He's a hell of a son. He feel he can be on his mama's titty nipple for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. Adam, Adam, this is Adam right here. This is what I mean by Adam. This is a hell of a son. And we see his mom's is a hell of a mother. So I tell you no, guys, no lie. I tell you no, guys, no lie. Um. This video right here is a mother, her 29 year old son and his stepfather. The stepdad is telling the son it's time to get out of the house. He should be moving out on his own. And then the mother, she's saying, no way, that's my only son. And he's not going anywhere until he's ready. It's a lot to unpack here. Take a second to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Boy, that's pretty good. But you know what? When yeah. I met you, you was living with your mama. Man, please. You I was, was living in with and your, out. Come on, man. You was man. living with your mama. I was going 22 me. years old. Now you going to tell me because he, he no, 29. I ain't getting up. I ain't getting up. I'm not getting up. Man, he has to go. I'm not going to work. Well, you, you ain't got to go you, you nowhere. You know what, Darren? They ain't going to pay no bills either, damn damn it. Now, how you feel about that? You don't want him to go? I want to pay the bills. Um, but he he, he, to pay he the got bills. to go, though, man. I don't feel sorry for him. Yo, hold on, mama. Let me, let me cut this up right here. And she going to say, well, you don't. She's a whole lie in crab legs, bro. And honestly, that's what he get. This is what he get. Go ahead. Take it away from Take it away now, mama. Any man in this situation, you get what you deserve. And let me tell you why. There is absolutely no reason for a man to move in with a single mother. All the drama and irritation and just silliness that comes along with that, you deserve it because you put yourself in that situation. I'm happy they put this out there though, because it confirms everything I've ever said about this situation. You see how the mother is like, he's not going nowhere, this is my house, and I don't care if you pay the bills. And in fact, you're gonna keep paying the bills and I'm gonna keep being in charge. That's what you get when you move in with a woman. Not only that, she's a single mother. So not only are you going to take disrespect from her, you're going to take disrespect from her kids. You have... That's a whole fact, guys. What is in this? I ain't see nothing in this deal for you yet, sir. Nothing out of this deal for you yet, sir. You see, this is the less pretend game. You're not investing, fellas. You're contributing, but you're not investing. This is why a lot of you guys settle for what you settle for. 
this is why a lot of you guys settle for what you settle for. And then y'all, y'all like to gloss over it. Like, oh, well, it's just, it is what it is. This is the cards I was dealt. No, it ain't. It's, it's the cards you dealt yourself, bro. And then on top of you dealing yourself those cards, you don't know how to play that hand. Sad, yo. Sad. Absolutely no say so. And everybody in the house, they know that you're the weakest link and they are going to treat you as such. You're not the father and they are not going to respect you. And as long as you stay there, this is all on you. They, see, we arguing and stuff about stuff. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, all y'all do is tell me to help. I ain't saying nothing. Like, man, you a grown ass man. You're supposed to know the oh, Man, God is your pill. You're supposed to know to take that out. And then I'm not even going to sit here and sugarcoat it for these little niggas. Like I said, this hell of a son, they play dumb because they sit there and play on their mother intelligence. Certain things click off in their mind, right? That let them know, I don't want to be under no woman. Know what I mean? But the fact that these guys are so weakened now and so emasculated and he was so he was so hanging on that tea so much, the moms ain't never teach them how to live without them. This is the this is an example of the moms that always swoop right in to fix the little kid problem so that the kid will only know her. This is how they inadvertently make the kid worship the mother, make make them kid worship them, have the kid looking up to them like if they God, you know what I mean? And that, that's all for their own self fulfillment, their their own ego, the parent that is, the mother, the hell of a mother for her own ego. Because of a failed relationship, she just start loving on the kid, and that love is is toxic. It breeds toxicity because now that turns the kid into a needy little boy. And we all know in this society, needy men, needy men get scraps. The needy men get the scraps. You know what I mean? And and, and stepdad, he's trying to help the guy. He's trying to help him alpha up. He's telling him, like, yo, bro, you don't want to go out there and journey on your own and see what's out there for you as a man? You know what I mean? Even in the Bible, God said, when you, you got to leave. You got to leave home. And journey on your own. Outside. Come on, man. I don't have to tell you all this stuff, man. The no. thing is, I'm barely here, so I'm barely making garbage. So if I got to the garbage shop, I'm barely here. If I'm barely here, barely making garbage, barely making dishes. Now that's the funny joint that they do, right? They do that. Like, they try to do... These little niggas, man. These little niggas. And see what's sad? Because he's 29. I expect this from a 22, 23, 24-year-old. By the time you're 25... All these games and crab legs got to stop playing. You know what I mean? But I expect this from a 22-year-old. We all been here, kiddo. We all been here. I remember when I was 19, I used to, but my, I ain't even here. I don't even be here. I don't even use them dishes. I don't even, I don't even. And, and that's all dodging accountability. You know, our mother teaches that because we see she ain't accountable. She don't do nothing wrong. She always right. And that's the shit that I be talking about. But we don't call a spade a spade in gyno land. We don't call a spade a spade. We act like the mother ain't do nothing. We act like the single hell of a mother ain't do nothing. She did her best. But this is the shit that she, this is the shit she raised. Oh, I ain't teach him like that. What did you show him? You showed him how to be non-accountable. And what is he showing you? What is he giving you back? He giving you back exactly what you taught him. And that's how that worked. That's how that worked. So when you start asking me, why is the kids shooting in the middle of the street? Why are the kids shooting up? Why is violence spiking? Hell of a mothers, they getting dumber and dumber and entitled and entitled and delusional and more delusional. And they're creating son husbands, weak little men that are not in control of their emotions, don't have responsibilities, none of that, all that. This this is the shit right here. This is the shit right here. This is a great example, guys. Great example of what the fuck is going on. And this is the woman that be yelling, they want valuable men. They want a high value man. How can they deal with a high value man? You see that you see the stupid foolishness. This is why they end up with these type of simps, stepdads. You know what I mean? This is this is this is it. I tell you guys no lie. This is this is the game right here. This is life. So I'm not gonna do anything. She gonna right. always make excuses for you, man. But right? He don't even be here. So what? What is you talking about? He don't be here like that. He come here. Well, he sleep, when he's here, and then he don't he the, the rest out. of the day. When he's here, he need to help out. He need to do some things. He well, I tell you what. He ain't okay. paying no well, bills. Well, he, he gonna ain't start got paying up. some bills around. I ain't paying. I ain't paying. I rather want to get the fuck out. Listen. You will try to make these boys tough. You will try to get these boys prepared for life because that is what masculinity is that's what the man role the father role god was 
the correction, the discipline. And do you see how she is blocking the discipline, the teaching, the correction? She is blocking it. She want to keep this boy weak. They want to keep the boys weak for some weird reason. And if it, the conversation would have been different if this was a girl. If this was a girl, girls get the fuck out. Girls get the fuck out. Girls get up and go. They not scared. They don't have that scarcity mindset that these hell of a sons run around here with, bro. He actually fighting. You see how the girls nowadays, they fighting to mismanage coochie. They fighting to do the wrong thing just because they have a right to fight. He's fighting to do the wrong thing just because he's her son. Incredible. See how it match? But one plus one is two over here at the School of Common Sense. Even though they try to make it 11, we, may, we know that it's two. My mama said I gotta pay no bills. I ain't gonna, I'm not, I ain't paying no bills. He gotta pay. I I what pay I want him to do is save his money and do what he needs to do with see, his see, money. You the only reason why and not pay no The boy been 29, the boy is 29 years old, bro. He should have been saving money since he was 18 years old. That is about nine years right now, man. Stop playing with me, yo. Stop fucking playing with me. You want that boy there because that's your husband. <laughs> that's your husband. Not this man right here that we looking at, the stepdad. Your husband is your son. Period. Point blank. Yeah, because it, all this stuff you bring into it, to him, he still got the yep you got so many of them out there raising these feminine sons and these masculine daughters sabotaging all of them making them no good for anybody uh, you know what i know that, you know you jealous you jealous of my son. You you jealous of my and this is where he need to go this is where he need to just get up and just go guys because for her to say you jealous then you're purposely whining and dining your son and I'm your dad. I'm your I'm your husband. I'm your husband, and you're purposely doing more for him because he's your son than you doing for me. So I'm just supposed to make sure you're living in the lane for luxury, and you give nothing in return. You see the entitlement in modern women, guys. This is a great video, guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share. You know what I mean? Donate if you want to, because this is the real heat right here, guys. They don't bring it to you like Mr. Goodbread. Only you will say some bull. Crap. I don't know if you just not, but I just know I ain't getting on my mama's house. Like, if, you, if, right. if I gotta get on my mama's house, you gotta put me on my mama's house. That's the end of the day. Well, you damn, damn it, I'm gonna be carrying you. No, you got to go. Oh, you got to be the one to carry it. I don't know why I'm gonna carry the mama's house. Shoot them on up. And you, Michael, Michael, now you know good and damn well. I'm not kicking my son. Right, well, 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 I ain't worried about it. Like, if, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here. I live here, so until I'm ready to get out, I'm gonna be here. So, at like what me. point is you trying to? Uh, what, 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 what's your plans for this man? To be her boyfriend, so when she kick you out, he's already there. What's, what, what's my really plan? Is to stay in here as long as I need to stay in here. That's my. And what I be? Sis, you hit it right on the head. Her plan is to keep him there, so that. If you and her don't work out, she can now charge him for the rent because we all know that 50, that 50 plus lady with the kids showed us modern women with this mindset will be homeless once they ain't got the simp there simping, the stepdad ain't get, get tired of the son sitting there eating up the shit and then the son go on off and forget about the mama. That's how it works. So she going to end up there alone. That's how it works. 4550 and he's gonna be 4550 up in here. Crazy there. Yeah. Well, well, damn it, I'm gonna be out there. Bye. 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 No, Bye. He's going. He's going. Get the stepdad. Get the. Now, guys, where's the love at in there? That's the under the unconditional side. Oh, honorable. It's stepdad's. It's honorable. It's stepdaddy season. It's honorable. You see how the, it's no honor in that. She right there telling you, bro. She got no love for you. She just using you. And that's what I show you guys all the time. Don't I tell y'all that? I tell you guys this all the time. I even made a I even made a gyno crack attractive uh, attractive chart right here, right? <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about, guys. They only want to control. They want the control and then the attention, right? But on top of that, guys, this is how they pick you guys. This is how if you got celebrity status and by the way she sound and the way he look you know she ain't even trying to, she can't, she knows she can't get a five dude. Then they'll go for the alpha males because the alpha male energy is irresistible. We don't want her. 
Alpha males do not mess with single mothers because alpha males know it's all about legacy. And, and that's not my legacy, man. You know what I mean? That's not my legacy, man. And then they go to the hell of a sons. And bingo, you see, she said that he was on the couch when she met him. She, he was on his mama couch when she met him. And he was 22, though. That's a respectable age to be on mama couch. I think I might have, I didn't get up off mama couch till 22. And I grew to be who I am. So we're not going to knock that. We understand that society is geared towards the boys being on their mama couch for a very long time. This is why I don't understand why women is out there with their big mouth talking about what black men don't build and what black men don't do. When there's a, many women like this woman got big ass kids like this on their couch. But anyway, when they can't get a hell of a son, the next in line is them providers, them beta male orbiters. You know what I mean? But this is the chart, guys. I tell you no lies. I tell you no lies. So she don't have no love for this man. She loves what he provide. And that's how they treat you beta males. That's why I tell you guys, don't. You got to get from being Adam. You will never know true love if you remain a beta male, a hell of a son, a simp. You'll never know the meaning of true love of a woman really loving you and appreciating you. You for you. Not for what you do. You for you. Just stop it because this my only son. He ain't going that's what's my only son, you the one made him like this because yo, we got you know what? Him. Come and go, your son is forever. Yo, you see, only if they use that logic before they bust it wide open and not use a condom, you know what I mean? Not, not, and not tell a man to use a condom because they hold access to sex. Only if they use that logic, you know what I mean? Then, then they wouldn't be in situations like this. Right, and, and, and like and I see, said, you, you made him this way. You made him no, this I way. Ain't make him this, this is a product of your. I, I make this, him this, this way. This, this like is a I said, it ain't like bad. he don't. Your bad it ain't like he don't know how to get out here. Like I said, when he ready to go, he can go. Mm, the mom is raising a very sorry son. He won't take out the trash. He's not contributing to any bills. And then he's complaining about why he shouldn't do anything because he's hardly ever there. Okay, Jody. When you're there, take out the trash. Have some sort of responsibility for the household. Your mama not charging you, but you can at least pay the water bill, the gas bill, something. Or put some type of sweat equity in the house. Going all up in the refrigerator. Didn't buy anything that's up in there. I'm sorry, Jody, you are out of order. He's basically 30 years old. And I understand the mom not wanting to throw her son out. It's very difficult out here right now. But I want to know how much money are you making from your job? And how much money are you saving? You should be able to save a lot of money since no one is asking for you to pay for anything. So yeah, I get it right now. It's high rent. And that's what I was talking about, guys. And remember, this, this guy's 29 years old. This is some shit I expect out of the 21s, the 22s, because they just now, you know what I mean? Like in life, the way life moving right now, it's just smacking these motherfuckers in the face. Everything moving fast. But a 29-year-old person, bro, when are you going to start, bro? You fitting to hit 30 soon. And once you hit 30, your 10-year window closes. Remember, you, remember I tell you guys, you get the first 20 to make all the mistakes you need to make. Then you get the next 20 to... to to, to learn, to start using tools. You, you should have gathered so many tools and so many resources from all of the mistakes and the failures that in your next 20, you ready to start building. You ready to start seeing shit, putting it together. Boom, 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 boom. So that in your next 20, you are, you, you are, you, you're, you, you coasting, you coasting. You know what I mean? And that's how that go. That's how that thing work. To my 20 year old followers, viewers, Start now. Start now. Put your little money up. You ain't got nobody hampering you. Nobody hampering you. You got a mama love. Y'all, listen. My moms used to have, we used to, man, as soon as we got a job, we had to pay her something. No matter how old we was. So you guys got it. You guys nowadays got it the best. Because one thing I could say, and it might have been the dam most damaging thing us 80s babies said, I never treat my kid like my mother treat me. Some things that some things we should have we should have did, and some things we we just didn't because we were so tired of it. And but those things that we were tired of, we should have kept. It should have been the shit that it should have been. The, it should have been reverse, guys. True story. I'm not even gonna cap because 
Shit got worse, man. These kids, they get away with murder. Shit that I couldn't do. But guys, it's all the more reason for you to be able to start earlier now. Now you should become more successful. You should become more successful. Y'all don't have those guards and barriers from the, the shame of society because it's like everything you did was disrespectful. You try something new, disrespectful back in those days. Y'all ain't got that now. Now, I mean, as long as y'all doing positive steps to go forward, y'all gonna be all right and y'all gonna win. But you gotta get up and you gotta move. Start now. Inflation, but you have to instill some type of responsibility in him. He should at least have chores or something like mowing the lawn, taking out the trash, cleaning the gutters, something like what in the baby boy is going on and the mama didn't prepare him for the world at all like most of these single mama raised bastard babies he's not ready to get out there so kicking him out at this moment is probably not the answer but his mother is the one who was supposed to prepare him for adulthood and ma'am i'm giving you an f for that one Oh, but Mr. Stepdaddy, even though you are right about her son needing to contribute or doing something around the house, I get it. I understand the frustration. After all, you're the one paying the bills around there. And you know, you often hear women saying, oh, if he's paying all the bills, then they will listen and follow him. Well, I'm here to tell you that's all a lie. Conditional femininity is fake femininity and they're lying talked about this plenty of times before he was calling the mom weak but stepdad is the weakest position of the family i repeat stepdad is the weakest position of the family you have less importance less priority and no authority you have a lot of media with a lot of feminists behind it who tricked a lot of them stepdaddies telling them he's an honorable man by quote stepping up and taking care of another man's kids hey y'all it's officially stepdaddy season. See what I mean, guys? They really playing on your intelligence. They playing on your intelligence. And they make it bad for the woman that ain't like that. They make it bad for the woman that because you be, and that know this man finna take care of me and my kids and he's not my kid's father, I got him. There's very few of those, but they mess it up for those, the very few. They mess it up for the very few. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, sir. They lied to you. They had to make you feel good about what they really had in store for you. And that's to do everything that a biological father is supposed to do without any benefit whatsoever. Her kid is not your legacy. Your seeds are your legacy. And in this situation right here, you have a man investing into a woman and her children. He's contributing money to a household for them that he's not even in charge of. And by him doing what he's doing, he's also giving her son the opportunity to live for free. Come on now. How many of you think that she will let her son stay there for free if she was the one having to pay all the bills and she didn't have the help from step? Bingo. I just quoted to that, guys. He will be head number one on that list to having to pay something. Remember, guys, the 50 year old lady, she broke it down. If y'all wasn't paying attention in that video, she broke it down. Everybody turned their back on her. She homeless now. If this stepdad get up and be like, you know what, fuck this shit. And that little boy get tired of the mom's charging him now, because he's he's gonna be the one she come at for the for the pay for the for, to, to to soften the blow. He get up and leave. Who's she going to have there paying that rent? Nobody. She going to be homeless. Modern woman with this mindset will be homeless. Daddy, I'm telling you, she will have a whole nother attitude. Instead, she'll be saying how her son needed to help her out or move out. But because stepdaddy is there paying the bills, now the mama, she could be comfortable. She can splurge on extra stuff or maybe she's able to save that money. And it's all because of his investment into her and her kids, helping her pay off a house that he's not the leader of and he's not even entitled to. And those women are not going to say anything about it. They won't tell you the truth. So no, you are not honorable. That's the lie they tell you. You are foolish. And some of y'all really need counseling. Because to sit up here in a situation like this, for some reason, you don't think too highly of yourself. You think you somehow deserve this. And whatever it is within you that would allow yourself to be dishonored or disrespected like this, you have to figure it out. That's why I say simping is a mental illness. And symptom mention must be taken seriously seriously.
she will never ever put her kids before you and that's why this whole situation is out of order it's supposed to be man woman and children but when you have babies out of order and you're not with the father of the kids it's almost impossible for them to put you before her kids and most decent mothers wouldn't do it this man need to leave her and her son there to fend for themselves because I'm sure they probably can't pay them bills alone. But this is just very weak. He's calling her weak. But remember, stepdad is the weakest position in the family. Let's. That's a fact, yo. And she broke that down very well. And I, I had to mix that in with a nice blend of my little spill and a female perspective. You know how you saw how that worked, guys? Got to give the female perspective so they know I ain't bugging. I'm not bashing or I'm not poking fun at the single mothers. Because y'all know these hell of a mothers is fucking up the community. The community, they fucking it up. They got it like, They got it looking like Blackistan out here, y'all. Dead ass. It's dead Blackistan out here. But um, in any event, I told you guys I was going to give you my top five. You don't want to do that, man. There's no benefits in it for you. That's number one. There's no benefits in it for you, bro. Number two, you're not investing. You are just contributing. All right, guys? Number three, if you wasn't paying the bills, that kid will be on the chopping block paying the bills. All right? So so don't, 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 don't play yourself. Don't play La La Land. Don't play Let's Pretend. Remember, guys? I told y'all about playing Let's Pretend with these modern women. And, bro, for number four, you don't deserve that, bro. You deserve better, bro. If you the prize, bro, then why the fuck is you doing gifts type shit? That's the gift right there. You you acting like the gift from God. I mean, you the prize, yo. Switch your roles, man. Switch roles back. Number five, man. The order is man, woman, and child. You leave these widows with their little kids alone, with their fatherless children alone. If you don't mean well for them, if you don't mean well for them from the heart, you know what I mean? Like, you see how this guy right here, he went in on his simp shit, now he getting mad. You went in. You When you go in these situations, you know what you going in there for. And I told y'all about starting these relationships just for the coochie. You went in there for the, for the in-house coochie, for the in-home coochie. Because you ain't want to sit out there and work on yourself and you ain't want to go through the ringers of dating and this whole dating market. So you, you, the first thing you meet, your wife up and you play house with. Bro, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb, bro. And, and you deserve better. And you got to know that, guys. You know what I mean, leave these widows for God. He says that. He says that in the book. He will take care of the widows and the fatherless. You go on about your business, go make time, work on yourself. In no no way, shape, or form do you deserve to be a stepdad getting taken advantage of like this guy right here. Guys, it's been real. I ain't going to hold you much longer. Y'all already know what's going to happen. Two videos is going to pop up. One on the left, one on the right to continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense. Let's keep that momentum going. Y'all drink responsibly. You know what I mean? Do the right thing with your health. Wrap up, strap up. We do it for the culture, guys. Don't play with your life, y'all. Do not play with your life. All right.